Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ and another bolt action painting video. But I'm not painting anything specific here. Um, what, <laughs> what I'm going to do is just outline how I paint everything in bolt action. So this is more, more the, the process um, that I go through when I'm painting things. Um, whether it's you know my, my late war Germans, whether it's my um, mid to late war uh, US Marine Corps or my uh, Western Desert SAS Raiders I always follow the same process when I'm painting my figures. So what I thought I'd do is just a very very short video um, just to run through the absolute basics of what I do um, to get the, the look that I, I, I like. Um, massive disclaimer here, uh, I, I don't profess to be a great painter um, but what I can do is I can paint fairly fast and I can get units to the tabletop pretty quickly um, that look sort of okay. Um, I'm often asked in, in comments on the, the channel how I paint certain something or what technique that I use here. So what I thought I'd do is a very, very short video just to outline the process that I use uh, when I'm painting all things bolt action. Okay, so on, on, to, the, uh, on to the video. Step one, um, I build my models completely. Uh, everything, everything gets put together. The whole model is glued in, it just it just in 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 in, in one, um, and I normally batch paint in batches of between five and ten. So I will I will build the entire section, uh, all equipment, heads, weapons, you name it. It all goes on the model. And um, what I don't do <clears throat> anymore is paint on the sprue. I I used to do this. And then I stopped and I realized that all I was doing was making extra work for myself. So I, I don't do that anymore. Uh, and I can, I can understand why people do it. And I usually do it because I didn't like the thought of there being parts of the model that I couldn't reach with my paintbrush. Um, and then I changed my mindset. And if you can't see it from three feet away, I, who cares if you can't see it? Um, it, it's just one of those one of those things that it took me a while to get my head around. Plus, once you've used a wash, which I'll come to later on in the video, um, washes tend to hide a multitude of sins. Um, so don't worry about um, those hard to reach places, and don't worry about putting paint there. The wash will do most of the uh, of the of the work. But my ethos is I'm trying to get these these figures done and on the table. I'm not trying to win, nor will I ever win any painting competitions. Um, so that's what I do. Glue the models together completely. Uh, don't paint on the sprue and don't stress about hard to reach parts of the miniature. Okay, with that out of the way, what's next? Uh, limited palette. Now, what do I mean by limited palette? I try and keep the number of actual paints I use down to a bare minimum. And that way I've got a just a select few paints that I know I can I can use very very quickly and in a certain order and it allows me to get these done quickly. To demonstrate this, I will run through how I paint or the, the limited palette that I use for my painting anything that's German. So Vallejo German field grey. Uh, this will be uniform, uh, helmets, uh, bit of equipment. Uh, field grey is my go-to. Uh, equipment is done in German uh, Vallejo German camo black brown. Um, any metallics are done in Vallejo gunmetal grey. Uh, boots and any really dark leather is done in uh, Vallejo dark rubber. Uh, bread bags are done in Vallejo um, green ochre. Uh, water bottles in Vallejo uh, light rust. And my choice of sk um, skin tone is Cadian flesh tone by Citadel. Um, and that's it. So I can really paint most of my Germans using seven paints, which people ask why why I'd use a limited palette. Uh, one, uh, it it just speeds up the it quickens the process up. I'm not jumping between you know nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen paints just for one figure. Um, I can use them also to mix to get different different shades of green, different shades of brown. It's it's not a problem, um, and it just allows me to work that bit quicker. Uh, what it also does, it, it also ties the unit and ultimately the project together. Um, with that limited palette, everything's going to more or less have the same colour on it. It's, I mean, people will say, oh, it, it, it sounds boring or it looks boring. Not to me. To me, it's it's uniform. It's all, it's all tied together, which is what I do with my limited palette. 
So after a limited palette is I rely heavily on washes. Um, why washes? Well, it's a quick way of getting um, shadows and recesses and give, giving the figure some depth. Um, I used to use my, my standard go-to used to be Agrax Earthshade by Citadel. Um, I was a, a fully paid up disciple of Agrax Earthshade. Um, but recently I've been using um, Army Painter Strong Tone Wash as well. Um, very, very much of a muchness between these two. And I, I, will, use, I will use happily use either now. But that's, that's what I use. So a wash goes over the entire model. This sets up recesses and shadows, but also defines where I'm going to add highlights. Which brings me on to the next part of the list. Basic highlights. Um, I use very, very, very basic highlights uh, on my bolt action figures. Uh, one, one highlight only. Uh, and the way I do this is to very simply add a small dab of sunny skin tone to the original color and just go for the real upper um, upper parts of the model where you're going to see those highlights. So with uniforms, it's going to be the, re the, the, the upper creases, um, same as, as trousers, same with equipment. With faces um, or, or anywhere flesh, it's going to be the bridge of the nose, the chin, the, the cheeks, or, or the knuckles on the backs of the hands. Um, I don't spend an, a massive amount of time highlighting. Um, if, I, if I wanted to, I probably could. Uh, you know, four or five layers of highlights. You now really make that model pop. That's not what I'm after. If I'm painting 10 figures, I don't want to be spending hours and hours and hours putting layers and layers of highlights on, on, on 10 figures when what I aim for is that uniform uh, look across the entire section. So for me, my rule, one basic highlight using sunny skin tone. So that's the, that's the figure um, finished. And now to basing. So if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that I like basing. Um, and I think basing can set off um, even the most basic of, of, of painted figures. Give it a good base and it's gonna complement that figure and, and make it a bit better. Um, one of the the, um, the phrases I had, I think it was um, Leon T, um, when we did our uh, painting tips, he said faces and bases. And I absolutely agree with this, except I'm not very good at painting faces. <laughs> So I use bases um, and there'll be a, a few pictures on screen now that have different basing that I use just to set off my miniatures um, because I do I do paint to a fairly basic standard um, but I think a good base really goes a long way in setting off that figure and last of all the overall look so if I stick to the same process for each of my projects I know that the section that I painted, you know, three weeks ago is going to be the same as the section that I paint now. There's going to be no sort of change or different styles, um, and it just it just helps to keep the 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 whole project tied together. Um, and there'll be some pictures on screen now of what I mean by that with my Desert SAS Raiders. These these were all painted over about about a three week period, but as you can see, they're pretty much identical um, because I used exactly the same process on painting them. Right, so that's the end of this very, very quick fire video um, about how I paint everything in bolt action, how I paint all of the things. Um, if you've got any comments or questions, uh, leave them down below and I'll certainly respond to all comments and questions. But as always, thanks for watching. Do take care, may your dice roll well, and I will catch you all in the next video. So bye-bye for now.